creators welcome back to my channel if you guys are new or if you guys are any of my new subscribers welcome to my channel I'm so happy you guys are here and I'm so overwhelmed with how much support and love my last video got it was the home tour video if you guys haven't already seen it I'll leave it down below but I like I wasn't expecting that like okay I was so excited about this video and I know I've been kind of like putting it out there that I was gonna do a home tour I didn't know when I was gonna do it but the love and support that you guys gave me on that video I I can't believe it I'm so excited that you guys like everything that I did so far because I'm new to this this is my first apartment and I wanted it to be perfect so seeing you guys have like such an overwhelming like positive reaction to something that I've done for the first time ever um I don't even know what to say but I appreciate you guys so much old and new subscribers if you're new you are part of the creator crew and I'm happy to have you guys here and if you're not new don't forget to like comment and subscribe so let's get into my room tour my bedroom tour <laughs> right, before I get started I do want to get into my outfit of the day this dress is from Pretty Little Thing, and I love it. It's a sweater material. It's off the shoulder, but it kind of has these puffy sleeves that I really love. And I got these boots from Nordstrom, and they're Stuart Weissman, and they're so comfortable to walk around in. I love them. I kind of wanted to match my decor, but if you guys like my outfit, don't forget to follow my Instagram. It's the new Vogue. I'm going to leave it linked below. And you guys want to see outfit videos or outfit posts just follow me on there all right guys so before i begin i do want to let you guys know that there are links to shop my bedroom in my whole entire apartment in the description down below i did leave links for the, some exact items but other items i have dupes of and different similar products because i can't get all the products because most of my furniture is from Facebook marketplace so I'll try to leave you guys some dupes down below all right so let's start off with my bed I picked up my bed from Facebook marketplace for a hundred dollars and I love this bed because it's very similar to an RH bed that I saw on their site that is thousands of dollars but I got mine for $100 on Facebook marketplace and I love it it came in pretty good condition I did have to disinfect it spray it down and clean it but it was well worth it because like I said this is a temporary bed but I'm in love with it I will sell it once I get my new bed just look out for that next year it's coming up so yeah I love this bed I think it's a great temporary bed and it kind of goes in with my gray taupe and white theme that I have going on in my bedroom I got this duvet cover from home goods like I said but what's great about it is it's just a cover let so I do have my cover my comforter underneath it and this is basically my fancy sheets for when I'm trying to spruce up my room because I don't always have this bedding on here I usually only have my comforter along with a throw and some pillows so this is definitely the fancy hotel vibes comforter set when you're trying to entertain <laughs> so yeah I love this because it's a coverlet it's easy to pack away and it's really lightweight and it looks extremely expensive. I picked this up from Home Goods as well, and I love this color because it kind of matches my bed frame. And I did want to do something different with the color scheme on my bed. If you guys saw my home tour video, you saw that I had gray, light gray, and white theme going on. In this theme, I have more of a taupe, smoky gray color going on with the big pillow in the back and then these smaller lumbar pillows in the front. So a good tip for that hotel luxury look is to definitely buy down insert pillows or pillows that you can chop because I feel like the more pillows you put on the bed, the more expensive that your house, your room looks. So I would definitely stick to maybe three 
colors in your color scheme for your bedding as well because you don't want to have your eyes going everywhere and you don't want it to look chaotic you want it to look very cohesive so I decided to pick white taupe and gray I absolutely love the material on the material on this because it's kind of like that suede material and it has some hints of shimmer in it so it adds a different texture and tone because these pillows are white linen and then these pillows are suede so I'm adding that texture on texture and then tone on tone so let's get into these mirrors that I picked up from home goods you guys know my inspiration for my apartment is restoration hardware so I had to go with the long floor length mirrors and obviously that's the trick definitely if you want that luxury feel do not get short mirrors make sure you extend your mirrors to the highest extent on your wall so I would definitely recommend that you guys get floor length mirrors that is definitely the trick to give you that luxe restoration hardware feel because when I first started looking for them I could not find regular mirrors that were the right height so the trick is floor length mirrors and these are pretty lightweight and they're pretty easy to hang I actually hung them myself and I'm so happy with how they look in this room I went with the finish that was a brass color they do have a black one that looks really super sleek and I'm pretty sure it was $69 for these I got them a month ago or a couple months ago so I don't remember the price but I see them in home goods every now and then and I think it's such a good deal because the original mirrors from restoration hardware obviously are way more expensive and i really feel like this still looks really luxe and very sleek my lamps i love these lamps so much i changed my lamps out three times because i didn't know what direction i wanted to take my decor in my room in so I played around with three different lamps if you guys have been on my channel for the last couple months you guys would have known that I had originally a white one that I bought from my previous bedroom in my mom's house and then I had a kind of brass one with a like I think it was glass on the outside and then um, a brass like up you know what I'll just put up a picture and I'll reference back to the old one that I had that was also RH inspired but this one I feel like is a lot more sleeker and I definitely like the acrylic base in the three tier thing it has going on at the bottom I really feel like it looks perfect with my mirror and I did have to spray paint it because when I originally got it from overstock.com um, they were a lot more yellow gold and I don't really love yellow gold for my aesthetics so I always try to keep my gold muted so I love brass so I decided to spray paint them this brass color and I will link the brass spray paint that I use for everything in my house like I will link that down below so you guys can purchase it because I think it's the perfect amount of matte in a gold spray paint so I got these nightstands from Facebook marketplace as well like I said most of my stuff is from there so I think it's great to go there if you guys are gonna have temporary pieces or you're looking for high-end designer items for a fraction of the price like I said I have a video on how to shop Facebook marketplace and get deals in your area I know it's really hard to find them but you just have to be on there a lot I was on there maybe like 15 times a day so I'm so happy with all the pieces that I ended up getting there but this is actually from Ashley furniture if I'm not mistaken I think that's where the original seller got this so I love this one so much because I like the plain white I feel like this is a great temporary piece it doesn't really clash with any furniture originally it came with silver or nickel handles on it but I decided to spray paint it because I feel like adding that matte black kind of steps it up it elevates it it makes it a look a lot more luxurious I feel like there's only so much I can do with this piece I do love it, it is a dupe for a restoration hardware dresser that I will show you guys like I don't know how I lucked up on this I feel like 
I manifested it. Like, you guys know how I feel about manifestation. So I feel like I've manifested this. I used a, bra a black Krylon spray paint that I'll also link below. I love it because it's kind of matte black, but it doesn't leave that chalky finish. It kind of still has a satin kind of shine to it, but it's not super duper bright or shinier in your face. All right, guys, so this corner is my favorite corner. This is the guest corner. Anybody who comes over my place sits on this bench. But what I have over here is this painting that I actually got from Home Goods, and I loved it. I hauled this in, I think, either July or August. I did a haul video on it that I'll link down below, and it's a pricey canvas. I love it for the frame and for the texture. I did paint over another one just like this, and I put it in my living room. If you guys saw that video or my house tour video, you'd know that this is how that painting looked before. And I definitely like the before, but I like to add my own flair and my own DIYs to my space to like make it my own. So yeah, so look out for this change in the future. I'll do another update so you guys can see that. But this ottoman I got from Home Goods as well. And I love it so much because I love how luxurious it actually feels. You guys sit on it, it's super soft, super comfortable, and I love the gray washed legs that it has. I think that adds that luxury feel and that RH feel that we're looking for here. And the pillows I picked up from Home Goods as well. And I like to add a little bit of fur in during the holiday times just to add a different texture and tone so it's not completely one note and this lumbar pillow I think is also from home goods along with this suede throw so I love that I think like I said adding different textures and tones really makes your place look super luxe so this is my favorite little corner <laughs> this is the corner where all my laundry goes after I'm done with it. So before I tell you guys about my dresser, I do want to tell you about this fireplace on my TV. I've gotten a lot of questions about this in my last video. So this is actually just a YouTube video that plays on circulation for about eight hours. So it'll play the fireplace and then it'll have the crackling noise in the background. I have it out in the living room as well whenever we entertain. So I love that feature. I didn't know you guys were gonna be interested in that, but I will leave the link for the fireplace video that I use in case you guys wanna use it too. All right, as for this dresser, I also got this from Facebook Marketplace for I think two or three hundred dollars and I think the nightstands were for two hundred dollars for two I could be wrong but it's still a deal because I think on Ashley it was upwards of six hundred dollars or more so I think this was a steal it was in great condition and I did spray paint the handles on these as well I just removed them from the inside I removed the screws and then I used some spray paint and I laid down some tarp outside and I sprayed them and I'll insert some clips of me spray painting some of these items as well but on top of my dresser I have this shagreen I love shagreen by the way shagreen is such a hard material to keep clean and it just it's an expensive material and Restoration Hardware has a lot of shagreen items that I want but I decide against them because I'm broke <laughs> but also because they're super hard to clean so whenever I find shagreen I make sure that I don't get large items or large pieces of furniture in that material something smaller like this is a lot less it's a lot easier to clean so and you don't get a lot of scuffs and scratches on it so I love this I actually got it from Amazon I'll leave a link below on where I got it and also I picked up these books and I will leave some links for some coffee table books as well and I have no idea where I got this box from it was gifted to me so I don't know 
but I'll try to link a dupe for you guys. And this vessel is my new favorite thing. I have no idea what kind of floral I want to put in it, but I love the matte bat black because it kind of plays into the matte black handles on all of my furniture pieces in here. But I love this because there's actually a dupe for, this is actually a dupe for a pottery barn vessel. This one is a lot cheaper. It was from Home Goods, and don't forget that you can also repurpose a lot of your items. And if you find something that gives you that restoration hardware feel, but it's not in that same color, spray paint is your friend. Trust me, you won't regret it. But I got this gem as well. I love gemstones so much, and I'll show you guys in a later video where I actually picked this up from and where you guys can get your own. I really feel like crystals and gems add that glam effect to any home. If you're more earthy and you add in a gem or a crystal, you're still along the earthy like side of things, but it just adds something. I feel like it's just like jewelry. Like, I love it. So yeah. All right. So let's get into this mirror. Okay. I have a funny story. So before I moved out of my mom's house and into this apartment, I was recording my videos in my office in her house. And I was doing an outfit of the day video for you guys and well I was doing an outfit of the day segment and out of the blue while I was filming my mirror this is the same mirror I had it fell on the floor and shattered when I tell you my dreams were in that mirror like I almost gave up that day I had to push through and I had to film I had to act like nothing happened I cleaned it up I ended up breaking another painting like an artwork like a shadow box like that ended up breaking because of that like <sighs> it was a tough time so yeah r.i.p to my first mirror that i had to wait three months for because ikea um kind of has a lot of shipping delays and products out of stock because of covid and every time that i look for this mirror or look for anything like it's always out of stock but anyways that's my mini rant but i do love this mirror so much i love how it fills the entire room i want to show you guys what it looks like because i feel like once you see this you could see my whole entire room i have the marie curtains in an off-white color and they're from ikea as well and i have them in the 98 inch i did have to have them hemmed but i love them so much because they're off-white the revita ones that i had were a little bit on the creamer end and i feel like the off-white brightens up my room a lot more and a tip for when you hang curtains if you guys have seen my videos is to make sure to put them to the high ex extent that you possibly can because that gives you the more luxurious feel. This part of the room is also another favorite of mine because of this table that I got from Home Goods, and I love the gray wash wood on it and the black handles with the brass detail. I thought that was perfect and it ties in my whole room because I have the black handles on furniture items. So yeah, and this book, I'm going to link some coffee table books. This one is Louis Vuitton book, but I just took the cover off of it because I kind of like that brown burgundy color. I feel like it ties in well with this gem that I got. And I got it from a gem show here in Georgia. I can link it down below. It comes around maybe twice a year. So as for this, this is the candle from Jackie Ina's Forever Mood collection. And this one is Hey Big Head. And this one smells so good. I love how fragrant all her candles are and I love the packaging so much. I have um, another box of them, but I don't think I'm gonna burn them. I really love the packaging that much. Only for like special occasions. But I will also link those down below. And as for my vessel, I got this vessel from Home Goods, and originally it was mostly gray, like light gray, dark gray, but I decided to add a little bit more white and beige in order to break it up because I felt like it was a lot of gray on gray. I like to break up the tones by adding 
something different and I think that the beige plays well with the painting and also my wall color and I will also link my wall color because a lot of you guys ask me what paint color is in my apartment so I do have that linked below in my description as well and this pompous grass was from home goods and I think it was $12.99 for like a set two or something like that but I do have cheaper versions that I'm gonna link as well that you guys can get and a tip for pompous grass is to spray with hairspray let it dry and then it won't shed everywhere because I was having that problem where it was going absolutely everywhere so I looked on YouTube and the best thing to do is to spray it with some hairspray so my painting if this is actually the same frame as the one over in that corner of my room and I like that so it's like cohesive so eventually when I paint that one it will match but I do have a video on how I DIY my painting in my living room and I have a clip that I want to insert so you guys can see how I did this it was pretty easy though like it's just spackling and white paint that's really all that it is and I painted the frame black instead of leaving it that brass color because I do like to break up the brass even though I love brass I don't like to overdo it All right, creators, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what your favorite item or part of my bedroom is and any other questions that you guys have, I would love to answer them. And thank you so much for my new subscribers. I will see you guys next time. Bye.